What is shit posting on our Duke? <laughs> Am I going to get pissed at this? Am I the asshole for quitting my job for a much better offer? I just got the job offer of my dreams. $7 million base salary, millions more in bonus if I perform well, and I get to oh, move no to way, a lovely s- and I get stay. to move to a lovely sunny state. Sounds horrible. You the only problem stay. is I signed a contract with my previous company that's supposed to extend to 2029. I felt so unsupported at my company. They didn't care about my work at all. They bought thousands of shirts with my department logo on it, shot off fireworks every time we had a successful project, and paid our clients hundreds of dollars to attend our shitty department events. But that doesn't even count. That's so fucking lame compared to other companies, where the CEO personally offers people in my position a daily 30-minute deep throat session. Go, no, okay, let's okay, go. There we go. Why would you post this on our Duke? What is Duke kind like? Of funny. The the college? Yeah. What do you mean? What like what's the vibe there? I don't know. Just like a normal college. Normal college? I don't know what normal college is. <clears throat> I mean, I guess I would say it's probably a, a little bit like there's definitely like rich southern vibes there okay. for sure. All right. Yeah, you have the fucking you have the Notre Dame there. It looks like. Yeah. <laughs> do you have a hunchback in that tower? <laughs> You have to go to school. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> no, but one of like the there was like these unspoken graduation requirements, and one of them was you had to climb on top of that dome. Never did that. So also you should you had to fuck in the gardens. That was another one. Didn't do that. I was a virgin pussy. People would like black out and they'd be like we gotta do we gotta climb the top of Baldwin or whatever and they would go and fall <laughs> and fucking die yeah <laughs> can you believe that shit <laughs> yeah, yeah my college felt like a corporate campus see I mean you've been to CSUN yeah like the library which feels old yeah everything else feels like like a dentist office or it like felt pretty college mm. to me okay that's good to know yeah like you guys had a pool that was sick, I always thought. Like an outdoor fucking just chill pool, wasn't it? Like off the main little, yeah, that thing. I never went there. Did you have old people in your classes? Was it all young? <clears throat> um, Like is Duke like that? Could you Can you be 35 and go, I want to apply? No. <laughs> Duke also was like a big grad school, so there was like older people walking around, like in med school or yeah, they're around, business but school. Or they're whatever. not in like uh, no, no, no. Yeah, no. the bachelor programs. Yeah. CSUN was funny. They take anyone. Really? I had a communications class. There was a woman in there probably no younger than 78. That's kind of sick. It is, but she didn't understand any modern technology. So they'd have to like pause the lecture and explain cell phones to her. (laughs) (laughs) She's like, so when people are online. (laughs) And it started out cute. Yeah. And then it turned into that. My friend's in a music class right now. Like a music school. Yeah. He's going through this like months long music program. Okay. Just seems like fun to yeah. go back to school for a little bit. <laughs> like he's on like a fucking daily thing. He's got like homework. He's got like projects that he's working on. Whenever I hit him up, he's like, sorry, man. I was in like sessions all day, like with my class. And you're like, what are you learning in there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, d- I mean, the closest thing I did to that as an adult was acting class. Mm, but like yeah. the one I was in, Leslie Kahn, yeah. part of it is that you meet up after. So it's like a, it's like once a week, I think, and it was like. So they intensive. really want you to fuck. Yeah, I think it's like set up, designed for people in <laughs> LA to like just, it's just Tinder. Yeah. But um, so like I think once a week it was like Tuesday nights. It was like for five hours or something insane, and you like would read text, and then you'd go up in front of the class and like act out a scene and do all this shit. But then you get your assignment and you get your group and you got to meet up every single day. That's what she says every single day during the week at someone's fucking apartment and run the scenes together. All I've ever heard about acting classes is they're massively horny. I believe that. I could definitely see that being the case. I have friends that take acting classes and they go, dude, it's like annoying. Yeah. (laughs) Like (laughs) annoying how much, how much pussy I'm getting. No, like (laughs) how nothing can happen in that class without someone making it about, I want to fuck that person. Yeah. And it's just, he says then it's weird because he wants to be an actor. 
So when he's getting feedback Can from you some people, cut out the horny shit. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what he, that's kind of what he was saying is that when he's trying to get feedback about things, it just feels off because Cause he's the person's dick. you're killing it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's just like he's not getting the you know he doesn't know how good he's doing because he's getting head the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> It's hard to tell how good he's doing the oh, scene again. when he's looking at her oh, back. Oh, I, <laughs> I really wanted to do the scene today, but fine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I've heard acting classes are just horny as hell. Yep. So yeah, it's art. It's just an extension of art school. It's for people who miss art school. Yeah, but it's also like, I feel like actors normal like, I don't know. There's a lot of uh, also like attractive people that yeah want to act because they're like, oh, I have this going for me. I might yeah. as well try and do this. Yeah, definitely. And so it's just young, attractive, horny people that need to meet people in L.A. and are like, oh, I want to be productive at the same time. It's always really funny when an attractive actor goes, you know, I think I'm gonna try stand up. Yeah. And they go to an open mic and it's a bunch of fucking hateful, spiteful dudes with Aspergers in there, like, get this motherfucker out the stage. <laughs> yeah. And they're out there, and they're like, "So I was getting pussy last night." <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you like you, you right? Yeah. You guys can relate, right? The whole room just nope. <laughs> yeah. So I was getting head last night again. Again, it's like I get sucked off too much. You ever get like sucked off too much? <laughs> <laughs> you Rolling. know, you know, fellas, there is getting sucked off too much. Yeah, I know you're all dreaming about it in here. Let me explain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've had a couple of people hit me up from that acting class <laughs> on DMs. Can Been like, hey, man. Yo, man, you're killing it. Can I blow you? No, just be like checking like, yo, man, how you doing? Yeah. Like, you know, whatever. And then I'll go to their profile and they have like 3 million followers. I'm like, oh, fuck. You blew up. You fucking made it. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Congrats. And they'll be like, you still acting? I'm like, yeah, man, I'm, you know, <laughs> still going out for some stuff. <laughs> I'm still waiting for that right for the right one. I'm around. Yeah, yeah. I'm in the city, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm in the town. Some vague ass answer. Yeah. I need I need anyone who's in an acting class right now to comment the horniest story they got. I would also love to know that. Yeah. That that to me, like Barry, the show. That's what was so funny to me about his like, um, like girlfriend's character. She just. I feel like she nailed that, like, I'm the special snowflake here oh, okay. so well. Just, you know, without saying it. Obviously, she, her lines were yeah, delivering I, it. I, f- I definitely watched that, but I forget. Are you not caught up? No. Oh, you got to binge no, this, man. I watched the first season, like, half of it, and then I think I just stopped. Sarah Goldberg, man, killed that role. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I know there was some funny stories from acting class. One of the ones that I'm that like comes to mind is this fucking Australian guy got way too into this scene where he got angry. He started throwing shit across the stage. Hey, (laughs) oh, and all of us were like, chill. She was breaking. We were like, yo, (laughs) crying. And (laughs) and I remember the teacher being like, that was really good. Cause we were all like, holy fuck. Yeah. You know, he just, and I remember thinking he's like, I got lost like that. Yeah, man. You know, so do you just come right out of it? Yeah. Yeah. Like cut. And he's like, ah, Okay, great. It's like, oh, fuck. That is frightening, man. Yeah, dude. You fucking, you got what it takes, man. I don't got that. <laughs> I don't have that. Sorry. <laughs>